Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? I'm here, good day. Welcome to my channel. This is a BlackSwanRadio.com production. I'm Rondell L. Jordan, your host. You know, today I want to talk about, you know, all this hype right now about Israel and Palestine. Why our attention is being forced to focus on these issues right now. Because this is a big deal. You know, and very rarely do you hear people of color really talking about world conversations, right? This is, you know, in many of our minds above our pay grade, right? These world wars and world affairs. And that is, that is by design. That's by design. But my channel is where we have worldview conversation. We analyze what's going on in this world and we relate it to our real world, our daily real life experience. And we try to weed out the non-fiction from the, from the fiction so that we know how to navigate. Right? So we know how to Execute our determinations, our destination, our goals, the outcomes that we want to produce here in the near future and in the future beyond. Right? So this is the reason why I think it's significant for us to get to know why this narrative, this war between these two nations on the other side of the world or the other side of the Mediterranean Sea which is across the Atlantic how does this relate to us because it's costing us billions and it's costing us time and energy and focus and it's affecting every aspect of our culture whether we realize it or not the USD is on the line right now we see the nations forming against us Preparing for that day <laughs> that everybody fears the fall of the USD or the fall of the USA, God forbid, right? Because, you know, I've had the privilege, which I am most grateful for, only more grateful for offspring and life itself and health but the experiences that God has privileged me to be able to explore the world beyond our shores and you know it's a lot of times the grass is greener on the other side, right? You know, and home seem like a trap because there's a lot of nutrients that we see, culture, love, affection, interaction, you know, different forms of communication that we see and experience when we overseas, right? The the one thing that, you know, separates, for example, the women in Brazil and South America from the women in North America, with all respect to both, right? Is the mind frame. Because the mind frame produces thoughts and thoughts produces words and words produces certain emotions and outcomes and I think there's a lot of 
it's a challenge to be able to express these differences. The difference is what a woman says and then how that influence your spirit and what that does. You see what I'm saying? Because I think men ultimately would love to give a woman all that she wants because a woman is really all what a man wants. He wants a woman and the children that comes from a woman and the family that the lineage that spawns from that going forth. See, God made us to where we need each other to enter eternal life. <laughs> the only thing is to see we've been made to believe that eternal life is me, my selfish self, living forever. No. No. See, I am not this flesh. I am a compilation of multiple nations and multiple generations coming together in today's form, which you see now. And it's identified as Rondell Jordan. But it is my duty to reciprocate the gift of life for others. And this is the reason why I am a strong advocate for family. But I realized that it was a war. The, the revolution is the nuclear family. <laughs> That's a revolutionary act. May God bless all those who are in that that journey. Because the journey requires us to be willing to fight through a lot of different influences. A lot of things that we don't ultimately know how to prepare for or, you know the situations that you have to address day by day week by week through communicating right? due diligence and so what we are missing in our unions is the spirit of cooperation interdependence collusion and the only way we would really know how to you know gain it back is by traveling abroad and seeing it in other cultures I personally believe in in groups so that that group can bring home the group spirit because if it only happens to one person you see what I'm saying yeah the person gets the experience but they're alone in the experience and it's difficult then to come back and then take that inspiration and convey it fluent enough to where others feel like they have experienced it right as well and feel that same type of connection and it may, it may be possible for some but I personally believe that if traveling abroad is that thing that you hear everybody constantly saying ultimately that they want to do if they got all the money that they you know they can think of what would they do and everybody says I will travel I will go here I will go there well you can do that right now you don't need a millions and millions of dollars to do that 
you just need the app uh, you know uh you know airbnb app uber app and um you know google how much certain flights cost once you see the price of the flight you know do overtime raise funds up do what you gotta do sell candy bars whatever you gotta do sell perfumes whatever you gotta do to raise the funds to make your destination occur and do that time and time again you don't have to do it all at once but you you start you start what we doing this year what we doing this year what we doing this year plot and plan it because ultimately what's happening on the planet is is happening to let you know that time is not something that you just sit still and wait it's not to be taken for granted the opportunities that we may have and we we treasure and we cherish today that we build our dreams upon may not be there in 15 20 years we don't know in 15 20 years where you want to be because that is what gives you the drive and the purpose and the determination today but you have to take the time to think about these things you you can't be distracted by the news you have to look at what's going on in society as a whole and if you see society degenerating where do you think that is that's that's a that's indication of decline you see what i'm saying degeneration is declining so when you see you can use any type of common sense you know it doesn't matter how liberal you are you can look at the lens of society and determine whether this is something that reflects a nation that's focused on the most high it's based upon knowledge that's based upon you know good wholesome values principles that has a good moral compass leading us into a strong and wise future you know I don't see that and when I listen to the my peers and people who are even younger than me by decades when I hear people convey their truths and their analysis of this reality you know people are they want children but they're afraid to raise children in a society because they see the degeneration so what do we do about it You know, I have a Patreon. It's a business class travel group. You know, I have a friend who said, I'm going to go take a trip to Dubai here soon. And uh, I'm just going to fly business class first class business class you know he wants the Polaris experience he kind of got me thinking you know you know should I raise the the funds to, to do such a thing see the funny thing is is that you know I'd rather save that $200 and just do get out in a seat and put that two hundred dollars on on either a beautiful location 